Sarah. Um, you did two things in that match. Obviously for yourself, you got the bronze medal, uh, and that was important. But number two, you qualified the weight as well for the Olympic team. Talk about those two things and, and the importance you had to get those guys. Yeah, you know, this World Championships carries an extra level of stress. So, like, if before I was crying twice a day, now I cry four times a day. <laughs> no, uh, I'm kind of kidding. But, yeah, no, there's that stress that's kind of in the back of your head for sure. Um, but it's just exciting, too, to take care of that, especially on the front end. It's taking care of. It wasn't like that for me last quad. I had to go out and qualify it. Uh, and then also secured an Olympic Trials final spot. So, you know, that's one less scratch weigh-in. That means a lot to me. And so, uh, yeah, I think we dealt with the stress well. It, it resulted in a pretty safe match, which isn't my favorite. You know, I like to go out there and scrap, but the bigger picture was that secured spot, so. How'd you get yourself in focus? I mean, yesterday was really tough during the day. How'd you come back? Yeah. Dude, last night was rough. I don't know, you know, it sucks because I've done this now a lot of times. And there's like a certain point, you know, I'm like, well, shit, how much more do I have to be resilient? And when can I just start being good, being the person, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm getting way too comfortable being the resilient one who has to pick herself back up. So there was a lot of, a lot of demons in the mind last night, but I have a really great support system around me. Uh, who's there to remind me, you know, of really important things, why I'm here, what I'm doing it for, and so just really it's my support staff, uh, 100%. I would not step on this mat without them. Talk us through that match a little bit. Uh, it seemed like she was really trying some dirty tactics, pulling the hair. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just talk us through it. Yeah, no, I knew going in it was going to be a hair pulling match, and when you got these luscious locks, it's too tempting, I get it, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was part of it going in, so I knew it was going to be something that was there, which helps. But at the same time, it's a lot more disruptive than I think people think. You know, it's, it can stall a lot of wrestling. So trying to stay calm through that while also making sure it's noticed and taken care of and we can have a, clear, a clean, fair fight. Um, but, you know, just kind of just staying in the moment, taking opportunities when they presented themselves. And, and like I said, you know, there was a lot more than just a win on the line there. And, and that was the bigger thing, you know, I wasn't going to throw risks to the win just to have a more exciting match, you know, it was more like, let's get this secured, and yeah, there's a lot of changes I'd like in that match, but again, we got the job done. Talk a little bit more about the Olympics, obviously, you went to Tokyo, you have Paris on your mind, like, what are you kind of thinking there? You know, I'm excited, Tokyo is just like a weird Olympics, obviously. Um, and then, you know, you think of something like the Olympics, it's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I'm like, shit, let's make it a twice-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <laughs> I think that sounds a little better. Uh, and, you know, just to get to go do that, very likely my last major competition, and to be able to go and have my family on, you know, literally the epitome of the sport surrounding me, um, I just think that would be so special. And so I feel like I have evolved a lot as a human being. Um, again thanks to a lot of people around me and, and I just really want that to be a stage where I step into that person and I feel that I feel that building and I, I failed this weekend but I can feel improvements and I'm excited for that stage to represent that thank you guys